study in the UK with placement or without placement which one is the best make sure you choose the right program and plan your future ahead keep watching for more details أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jess Herik. I'm a civil engineering design consultant working in the UK for the past 15 years. I provide guidance, assistance and help to civil engineers as well as to the students if you need any help. Do use the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer your queries there. Before I start into the details, a minor request, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel to receive regular such updates and such videos. So in this video, we're going to talk about studying the UK with placement or without placement. Which one is the best option? In this video, what I'm going to share is my personal experience. Completely is up to your choice. All I'm, I want to share the advantages, disadvantages, what I can see from my end, and I'll lay out all the information to yourselves. It's completely up to yourself to make your decision. Uh, depends on the MSc courses, BSc courses, that's how I'm going to split it uh, because I can see uh, different advantages and disadvantages between the two different schemes. So if you're going MSc, that will be a different scenario rather than yeah, the BSc. So in this video, I'm going to share uh, two different levels, one for the MSc level and one for the BSc level. So what are the advantages and disadvantages of being a placement or without placement? So let's crack on with this video so let's begin with MSc level degree first and uh, so what are the advantages of being MSc degree without placement so the very first advantage is you complete your degree within one year uh, so you don't, don't have to go in your placement so after one year you complete your degree next advantage I can see is the PSW a straightforward case you completed your degree the next stage is get the two years PSW. The third advantage I can see is a less cost as well. So for the MSc, if you're going without placement, you are paying less. If you're going for the placement, two years, that's, that's a more cost. So that's, that is the third advantage. The fourth advantage I can see is uh, about the job market. Uh, go for the placement, you, you still need to go through the same uh, sort of, yeah, you, you have to struggle and strive for the same amount as you would do for your first job. So without placement, that would give you the opportunity rather than going for the placement, you can go straight into the job market and find your first job as a graduate job rather than the placement and that will be your permanent destination and from there on you can carry on to the next stage which is another advantage once you get the job that's where the next day the PR starts from there on once you get the graduate job and from there on your next stage uh, the, the, the PR stage starts from there so five years on that job on the skilled worker visa uh, you are rolled on yeah, to the next stage which is uh, ILR and then the passport. So these are the numerous sort of advantage I can see if you do the MSc without placement. So let's so, talk about yeah, MSc with placement. What are the advantages or disadvantages? Obviously the disadvantages are all of them which are already stated. So these are the disadvantages for being going with uh, with placement, uh, obviously with placement you have to pay extra uh, cost as well. I'm sure yeah, it's not a lot but still you have to pay about 20 to 30 percent of your fee as well for the placement year. Uh, for the placement you will struggle definitely. What I can see here the co company thinks about the MSc level is quite high level and they are not willing, uh, well this is what I can see actually from experience they're not willing to go with internship for the MSc uh, students because that thing, yeah, they, they are the high level rather than for the internship, so that they're not suitable. Uh, that is one of the disadvantages. The third disadvantage is obviously if you can't find the placement for in the placement year, uh, then it may bring complication in your PSW as well. Again, yeah, this is not clear uh, about what was going to happen if you don't get the placement, but I'm sure, yeah, there will be complication in your PSW as well. Uh, again, you have to strive twice, one for your placement, and then after that, you have to go for your jobs as well. You have to strive again, I mean, to find your relevant job. That's another disadvantage there. So from my end, if you're coming over for the MSc studies, so MSc one year course without placement is the best. Go for that. 
So let's talk about the BEng or BSc level a degree course with placement. So I'm going to start here with placement. So if you're coming for the BEng level, uh, it's easy for me to go for the BEng, which is a Bachelor in Engineering here. Uh, it's generally a three years course. So if you're coming over with placement, that will be a four a four year course basically. BEng with placement or with internship with industry, whatever you call it. So that's one year actually comes along with that, and so that will be a four years complete yeah, degree BEng course and for that one uh, once you study two years uh, there will be a placement year a one year industry placement you will go with the uh, with one of the industry with the employer with the consultant you will spend that year there and after completion of your placement you will go back to your studies and complete your degree that's that's how the generally in general term this is how the placement works uh, so for the BSc level, I would highly recommend and go for the placement here. The reason, the advantage and the reasoning I'm, I'm giving here is uh, it's very best because you are learning the new theory there in your BSc level. So the third year gives you the opportunity to implement or exercise whatever you're learning in the university in the, in the practical field as well. That is the big advantage. So obviously it's, it's tough for the placement but I'm sure it's better for the BSc level to find the placement rather than the MSc level is a lot more opportunities the employer give the BSc level student more opportunity because they they see the potential uh, to embrace that that, uh, that candidate for long term as well uh, what I've seen the, the next big advantage if you have find the placement the big advantage is uh, mostly I've seen the employer offer uh, the scholarship or the basically going forward the offer as well for the job as well for the BSc level sort of candidates so that is a big advantage there another big advantage if you one year experience before completing your degree so that counts a lot as well in the industry uh, the next big advantage is your networking as well within one year you will be uh, engaged with all different yeah, colleagues as well and that's where you build your relationship your your, your professional relationship from there so you will be before you complete your degree, there will be a huge sort of yeah, big circle of your professional around it. And that certainly helps when you finish your degree, there will be a big circle around the professional circle there and that will help you to find your job there as well. So there's lots of advantage I can see for the BSc level or the BEng level degree for the placement. Uh, obviously it is, as I said, it's not easy to find the placement, but I've seen it's easy for the BSc level than the MSc level. Let's talk about the discipline advantage for the placement if you're going for the placement obviously your uh, period of study that extends yeah from three years being to four years with, with the placement year um, there will be your colleagues uh, you they, they're going to complete yeah you would, if they don't have a placement they will complete their degree a, a year before you as well so that's another disadvantage you have to stray a bit longer the third disadvantage I can see is uh, obviously, once you've completed your degree, then you have to apply for the uh, your PSW, and uh, that that actually a year delay there as well. And obviously, from the PSW, then you have to convert that to skill worker visa, and then the next stage, which uh, which where the skill worker visa, and then the PR stage. So the PR stage is delayed by a year as well. So that's another disadvantage there. Uh, but obviously, comparing the advantages uh, against the disadvantages. I can see the BSc level is more prone towards the uh, placement. So whoever comes for the BSc level or BEng level, I would highly recommend to go for the placement year. Uh, for the MSc level, I would say go without placement. So I hope guys, I mean, this was uh, useful information. Uh, so guys, what I've shared is my personal experience. Obviously, uh, lots of people out there, you you will uh, actually, you, you won't agree, you would disagree with my sort of yeah, analysis here and I would love to hear about your analysis if you disagree with any of the comments or any of the uh, sort of your yeah, reasoning I've made I would love to to see you in in the comment section below so we can exchange your yeah, views as well so I'd love to learn from yourself as well so do use the comment section below and bring up yeah, your thoughts as well you, what, what do you think I mean my analysis is, is good enough and uh, I give you the vision going forward I mean to choose your course so I would love to see, I mean, in the comment section below, if you agree or disagree with my uh, advantages and disadvantages on the term. Uh, so uh, with that, 
Thank you very much for your time. If you haven't subscribed already, press the subscribe button. Thank you very much. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين